Hey everyone, today we're out here at a large commercial office application in Columbus, Ohio. We're going to be installing UVC and photohydro ionization technology. And to give you a little bit more information on that technology, I'm going to let Chad Fleming tell you. So what we have is we have some UV sterilizers that also produce a form of hydrogen which sterilizes the airstream along with the work surfaces. If you were just to use the UV light, you wouldn't get the work surfaces, whereas the hydrogen actually will disinfect the work surfaces as well as the air. Yeah, and so we're gonna go upstairs and actually take a look at the equipment. So now we're up in the penthouse with one of our eight UVC hydroionization units. We're prepping the air handler behind us for installation. And Chad's gonna give you a rundown on the equipment. So what we have here is that you can see inside these white bars, you actually have your UV lights, which them in themselves do do a little bit of sterilization. But what makes these particular units stand out and where the photo hydro ionization comes into play is the UV lights interact with these white bars, which produces the hydrogen, which is what then also cleans the uh, surfaces and keeps the uh, air more sanitized than just a normal UV light. So these are shipped with 110 cords, but we cut these and we hardwire and install them and then wire them back to the building automation system so we can make sure that they're working. And there they are in action. This technology has been used in medical applications, in food production applications, but it's really just hitting mainstream America for the first time given the COVID-19 situation but it's another a really effective layer of protection in sterilizing indoor air quality and surfaces, work surfaces, shelves, desks, computers, keyboards. Let us know if we can help.